In this Revit Quick Tips video, I'm going to show you how to calculate accurate room volumes. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I've got a very simple building. It's got two rooms in it. Just show you that in 3D. Now one of the rooms has a sloped ceiling, so you'll be able to see that better in a section view. So let's switch to section one. So there's our side walls, our floor element and our slope ceiling. So let's go ahead and place a Revit room in there. So I'll go back to the plan, architecture and room and area panel and it's a room I'm going to add. I'll leave tag on placement on. So this is the room on the left with the slope ceiling because it's got the section through it. So place our Revit room there. So I'm just going to hover back over and select the room element. Let's have a look at its properties. So these read only values here under dimensions, we can see the area, the perimeter, and this is the, the clue here. Unbounded height is four meters and the volume is not computed. Now let's switch to a section and we can see there with the room selected, it's just been put in at a nominal four meters high. It's ignored the ceiling element so we could keep on adding rooms and it all go in at that four meters uh, unbounded height. Now that's a default behavior in Revit when you add rooms because it's much easier for the software just to calculate the volume if they're all the same height. It's only got to worry about the differences in plan shape. But there may be instances where calculating the, the room volume is really important to you. Um, for example, heat loss calculations and things like that. So we can calculate the volume accurately and to account for sloped vaulted ceilings, etc. But we have to tell Revit specifically that we want it to do that. So let's just go back to that section and have that ready. So what you need to do is go back to architecture and on the room and area panel, hit that little drop down there and go to area and volume computations. Let's move that over to one side. So you can see if volume computations, so the default is areas only and it confirms in brackets there that that's a faster way of calculating it. But if we want areas and volumes, we just toggle that over. Okay, that. Now let's hover back over and find our room select it so we can see it more clearly and you can see indeed now it's the, the proper sort of profile to match the ceiling so it's being constrained vertically by the floor and the slope ceiling and now if we look over at its properties we get the proper volume there and computation height is zero because it's being computed accurately from the model.